So you want to hang Parliament. Now let's consider this. Supposing you vote in for a Labour MP in your area, and he wins, he actually wins, he gets enough votes. But because of PR, you get a Liberal MP and a proportional representation. Now I don't know about you, I don't think that's fair, I'd be pretty angry about that. We have over 600 MPs, but just for the sake of clarity on this particular calculation, let's say we'll work with only 600, because it's a sim simple figure. So let's say that um, only 6% of the people voted in this country, in the United Kingdom. In PR, if the split in the parties on the final will vote are Lib 25%, uh, Conservatives 40%, and Labour 28%, Independent 7%, those that actually uh, of those that actually voted. So of those, 60%, that is the percentages. Under proportional representation, which we'll call PR, they would split the parties and appear as follows. Liberals for PR would get 150. On first past the post, they would have got 80 MPs. Conservatives under PR would get 240. Remember, they were the majority party with 40%. On uh, but on uh, first past the post, when they would have normally received 360 MPs. And Labour, PR, 168 MPs, when they would have received, on first past the post, 130 MPs. And Independents, on PR, 42, when normally on FPP they would have uh, obtained only two. The new Parliament could therefore be ruled by Labour and Liberal coalition. We all know that Brown will say, it's not my fault, and so will the Liberals. Brown does that now, and never mind when PR is there. So who do you hold to account? Who are you going to hold to account for the mess that we're in and get, get further into? Remember, Britain has always really had a central government, strong central government, except on a few occasions when the people voted for a weak government like Heath, and on a few uh, other occasions. Uh, but the British people quickly returned to first past the post, where they had a majority government, because they hated the weak government. But once you've had this flirtation with FPP, like this nightmare across the Atlantic, where we didn't really vote for it, uh, sorry, ac across the channel, the, the, the Europe, uh, uh, joining uh, the EU, um, we can't get out. And once you get first past the post, you'll always have weak government. Is that what we want? Where they're, they're doing behind the door negotiations, um, it's all secret. And you know, this, this uh, party broadcast is not as far off uh, track as one may think it is. It's actually quite accurate, because that's what happened. Look at Athens at the present moment. I mean, they've had hanged parliaments. Israel's had hanged parliaments. Uh, they've only had one thing that unites them, is the fear of the Arabs around them. Well, there's 350 million of them, and there's only 6 to 7 million Jews there. So that would keep you a little bit focused. Germany has been led by a far right-wing party, actually, because they hold the balance of power. So you can't so if, it depends who's got the balance of power. Um, we've actually got two major socialist parties, and what we need is um, <coughs> a, a conservative party with a majority, but also uh, quite a few more right-wing parties so we can swing our, our country back to ourselves. At the present moment, we've got Clegg and these people who just want to hand things over. They want to, for instance, give the power away and join the euro. If we'd accepted his responsibility, look where we'd be today. <coughs> He wants to allow all the uh, aliens in, who are illegal, to become citizens of the country. He would give that automatically to them. I don't know what you think. I don't want that. Right now, uh, we are trillions of pounds in debt. I mean, not just a little bit, but trillions of pounds in debt due to ma labor misrule. They have spent trillions on social projects and crippled our, our, uh, our manufacturing. In 1997, our manufacturing base was um, uh, 720 billion. That's right, 720 billion. Today it's 710, so we've lost 10 billion. Isn't that right? No, we haven't. If you took 720 billion in 1997, over 13 years, and added the inflation and growth that the country um, has experienced, we would have been on today 1.3 trillion. So we actually yearly down. 490 billion on our manufacturing base. That is why we can't find jobs. That is why we can't fu uh, fund the NHS. That is why we can't fund our, uh, our, our army, navy, and air force, because they've, they've given away our shipbuilding, they've given away our car, truck, 
engineering industries. As a result, our steel industry has gone backwards because all those Rolls Royces and everything that are manufactured here are manufactured with German steel. Now, I'm not against that, but it's, it's, it's crippled our other industries. And this is all done in agreements by Heath, apparently, uh, with Europe. Now, these we are not even allowed to see those agreements. It's about time they were made public because what is wrong with making those things public? So we know what, what was agreed. But we can assume it if we look at what's actually happened. We have lost all these industries today. Thank you very much for listening. And I just urge you not to um, consider the uh, hung parliament idea as being a good idea because it really isn't. It will cripple this country even more than it has been.